How are you guys doing this evening? Yeah? Give me joy like it's a weapon. Like a weapon. So I'm a Muslim. When I say weapon, it's got to be a little bit bigger than that. Give me joy like it's a weapon. Let me hear joy. It's just going to take me two minutes. The TED Talks are my side religion. Are we into that? Are we into oxytocin? How do we feel about oxy? Yes? I got one yes? Yes? Take up space, big shoulders, big breaths. We've got a lot to do. <laughs> this is the library, but I am not quiet. The, like, on my way here, I just, I was like, at first, hit with this like blustery wind like right and this like terrible weather and I was just like oh god fuck you too <laughs> and then I realized me and mother earth were both crying that's where we're all at uh <laughs> I, I'm also just enjoying that like at the end of every punchline all of us are just a collective oh yeah Ugh. I am a feminist, Muslim, Iranian-American comedian. Thank you. I say Iranian. People get scared by this. I like to have fun with it. I like to sit in the front row of nuclear physics classes. Excuse me, professor. Um, this uh, plutonium. Can you find that on like the Craigslist? Excuse me, Professor, um, when are we going to make a nuclear bomb? This guy came up to me at a Whole Foods. At a Whole Foods. At a Whole Foods. And he said, what's a Persian? What's an Iranian? What's a Persian? What's an Iranian? What is that? Why do you have two things? I'm just one thing. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> and then right after that, he was like, what's a spring onion? What's a scallion? So what if I don't have shallots? Can I use a scallion? Is it the same as a spring onion? Can I add green onion? And then he ran for president, and he won. <laughs> and that's how my year's been going. <laughs> ah, I feel like sometimes I get so saturated by hearing just the word Muslim in the press. First of all, I want to say the Republican Party owes me residuals. All right, I don't care if they're pennies, I would be a billionaire. I helped a man get elected by my very existence, I would like to say. And I believe I am owed royalties. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, sometimes I just want to change the name so I don't hear it anymore. You know what I mean? Like Persians figure this out. During the Iranian hostage crisis, somebody would run up to you with a bat, say, are you Iranian? Oh no, I'm Persian. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> that sounds very bad. <laughs> Do you like to dance? You like to party? <laughs> These are my Prada shoes, baby. What's going on? Sometimes I just want to change the name to Baba Ganoush. Because then instead of Islamophobia, people would have to say Baba Ganoushophobia. <laughs> the pundits would have to say, this is Baba, another case of Baba Ganoushophobia. Why Baba Ganoushophobia? I don't know. I love eggplant. I don't understand it. I can't get it. Is it because food trucks solve for racism? Right? That's how we lift sanctions. It's like, do we like Cubans? Oh my God, Cuban sandwiches? Oh yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. I saw that food truck. Yes. Because we need a Persian food truck. And then we're good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody else is like, no, but when I eat global treats, it's because I'm a worldly individual. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We all do our part. We all do our part in different ways. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about my dad. My dad has two favorite words in the English language are the shit and the hell. He came to my dorm in college. What the shit the hell is this, Zahra? 
And uh, that's a lot of what I hear lately from him also, who's just watching the news. What the shit the hell is this, Sahara? What the shit the hell is this, Sahara? I'm very excited that I am here with so many authors that I admire. I have a couple of pieces that I'm workshopping. I just thought maybe I would read them. And then you guys could just tell me, like the triple A's, like what grabbed your attention? What did you appreciate? What actions do I need next? <laughs> just workshop a couple of pieces. Muslim in space. Ah. I just feel like it would go really well. I like to take advantage of opportunities. I, uh, I'm married to a white man. I have a white man. Thank you. Very happy with my white man. I think every person of color needs to own one white man. <laughs> so Obama has Joe Biden. Just, hey, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> it's going to be white. <laughs> so like whenever I'm at the bank and my Muslim rage comes in, just bank fees. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was my Muslim rage. <laughs> this is my white man. <laughs> Go be white. <laughs> It was really effective. I feel like white guys are the golden retrievers of the doggy kingdom. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, I have a mediocre white man. I don't really like exceptional white men. I just this feels a little bit oppressive. I'm just not into it. I just don't like it. Like, I don't like seeing confidence in a white man. Like, I don't appreciate that. I just really appreciate it. Just, like, bring it down right here. <laughs> right? And like I, so, some of my friends who are women of color are like, I am not dating a white man. I do not want to come home to that. But sometimes I just want to, like, fake news is a thing. Why can't I have it at home? I love coming home to my golden retriever. Just, <laughs> I just want a friend. I just want to be a friend. I just want to be your friend. What's wrong with the C plus? I don't understand. I just want to be a friend. <laughs> So, like, everybody who never got an A minus totally understands, and everyone else is like, what is wrong with a C plus? <laughs> you were just talking about TED Talks. Confidence builds on confidence. I don't understand. So, whenever I had an A minus, my dad would be like, what the shit the hell is this, Zahra? So then I would go, I would study, I'd bring home the A. What the shit the hell is this, Zahra? Why is not the A plus? So then I would go, I would study, I'd bring home the A plus. What the shit the hell is this, Zahra? Why you take such an easy class? It's no winning. So I introduced my uh, white man, he's an infidel, he's an atheist, to my dad. And my father goes, what the shit the hell is atheist? He didn't know what an atheist was. I just, and I realized in Farsi, there's just seven slurs. It's like, he who denies God, too, you know. And so I was like, oh, well, he doesn't believe in religion so much as he believes in science. And my, my dad was like, you mean that Tom Cruise shit? <laughs> and I was like, oh, how did this just get worse now? Uh, and I was like, no, and I was trying to explain it to him, and he's like, what's this atheist? It's like some Christian shit or something like that? It's okay, Zara, it's okay. Christian, Jewish, Muslim, atheist, we all believe in the same damn shit, okay? We all believe in the God. We surrender to that God. And he says the word Muslim just means one who surrenders to a force greater than himself. I was like, well, he does, he's not spiritual, Dad. He, he doesn't believe in any God, no God. He believes that we have religion due to the lack of a real economic infrastructure. And my dad goes... Does he believe in gravity? <laughs> gravity is a force greater than himself. He surrenders to that force. He's a Muslim. <laughs> so welcome to the religion of Islam, everybody. It's a good time to be Muslim. They say there's no such thing as bad PR, so. We're going to have fun tonight.